Alright folks, we're back, and today, I don't have anything specific planned, we do have a lot of quests, I did notice that the voice needs to be turned up just a little, and so does that, turn the music up a little, okay, because I've been having a little bit of issues with the sound these past few videos, so, Miko! Let's see, what time is it? I also just realized that I haven't been... Yeah. I need to go ahead and do that and finish off my... Transmutation spells so that I can make a bunch of rings and sell them. Yeah, we've got some time, so... Miko! I'm so glad I found him. But I, I did have issues with the voice re reporting, so that should fix that. <clears throat> As for today, I think we're probably going to go over to... We'll do part of what I like to call the White Run Run. We'll run over here, because there's a little bandit camp over here. And then we'll go to Fort Graymore, which is right here at the intersection of this road, and clear it out. Um, I still honestly don't remember where Rorikstead is. It could be somewhere over here. But, I'll have to figure that out. Either way, that's basically where we're at today. So we will go from there. As far as other quests in Whiterun... There's a few more bounties we could take, a few more forts we could clear. And I believe Hulda has a quest. And I still we'll don't quite have enough. To the Dragon's Reach dungeon myself. Cool. And at some point when we come back, we'll have to talk to those Red Guards about finding the Alakir woman. Danica Pure Spring has a pretty tough quest that we could do. But other than that, we'll just have a pretty chill episode not too much to do go cast your fancy magic someplace else good talk <coughs> excuse me even the npcs know bellathor is a sleaze ball oh that's right he won't be here until eight um oh wow foreign guards here already oh I thought you were already on your way to Bleak Vault Barrow. Yeah, you thought wrong, buddy. Let's see, do we have any... And... Oh, it's still... Selected, probably. and stock up just a little bit, make sure I have enough. Oh, I thought you were already on your way. I'll go up there around level 10 when I feel like I can actually fight dragons. Gah, Farangar. Almost like it's an emergency or something. That looks so good. It's amazing how much one little mod can just change the way the game looks almost whoa, whoa, entirely. Whoa. What's the matter? I'm making money right now, man. Don't worry about what I'm doing. There's also a quick quest you can do over here. In the Hall of the Dead. I think this is what this is. Yeah. So you can do a quick quest in the Hall of the Dead. And... Grab. I think it's like 20 gold he gives you. It's not much. This is... I think this is... Amarin's house. Oh no, it's Carlotta. You're someone who can get things done. I like that. Alright. Cool. All I did was turn in a sword, but it works. We'll go ahead and do this real quick, just to reduce my overall carry weight. And I have five left, so... Gotta do that about five more times.
I prefer to do stuff like this just as we go along. It makes it significantly easier. <coughs> I mean, there's no reason to got some good pieces out here if you're looking to do all of it in one giant episode, because um, it still takes forever. So, what's the point, right? At least from my perspective. So now we can go talk to Bellathor. Exhaustion magic's fine. Just don't... Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Yep. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. And he's got 700 gold that we can take, so we'll go ahead and sell him. All of those. All right. Do come back. And then we'll run over to Arcadia, see if I have any potions to sell. I don't think I do, but it's a fine day with you around. just try to get rid of some of the extra That's inventory space that I'm carrying. Here. Give a holler if you have any questions. You look... Take a look. Alright, Arcadia. Let me see what I can get rid of. Sell you this. And... I don't think it's even worth keeping those, really. Stamina potions for me are pretty well useless. I hardly ever use them. I'll sell you that. And the fortify health. And I'll keep these. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Sure thing, Arcadia. But do I detect a case of the Actually, do I still have the food poisoning? No. Okay. So, how am I doing on carry weight? Okay, we're in a good enough position to go ahead and finish off the old white run run. Well, we won't be finishing it, but we'll be getting pretty close. Servio Pelagia, I think is his name. Yeah. There's a nip in the air. The Pelagia Farm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still. I'm, takes good care of things for me. I'm mostly done with the flu, but I've still got a little bit of stuff trapped in the back of my throat from my previous sickness, so I apologize for <coughs> <coughs> all the throat clearing and mess that I've got going on. So, let's go ahead and go to. Actually, how many do I have left? Two? Okay, well I might as well just go ahead and finish that then. Go ahead and finish that off. So I should have got a bounty before I left, but now I'm already here, so I probably won't be doing that. Uh, oh wow, the render distance. You can see a fort way over there. Northeast. Yeah. So... The only things really left to do as far as early bounties are that camp over there and there is a giant camp that obviously I can't clear at Fort Graymoor over there. So oh, I still gotta do one more cast. But that should finish us off for the most part. At least for this section of White Run Hold, and then at some point I need to figure out where Rorikstead is. Go do that. Alright, still have Miko. And the Western Watchtower is over here. Not the Western, the Northern Watchtower? Yeah, because the Western one's over here to the West. That should be everything. Okay, yep. That crackle spell is really not as good as I thought because it doesn't track very quickly, so we'll just unfavorite that. And I can already tell that this is overpowering my voice a little bit, so we will go ahead and crank that down a little bit and crank that down just a little bit. Alright, and we'll regenerate some magicka and hit this little bandit camp. Gotta be super sneaky, Miko. Oh, yeah, super sneaky. Good boy. Yeah, they're right there. Alright, let's get them. 
because he's still sitting down. Whoa, Miko got over there quick. Good boy. source has been a real boon. Skuma, poisons, black soul gems, you name it. We've got a line to a wide range of goods and an even wider range of clients, which reminds me. Someone needs to tell Akari where she can stick her bottles of sugared cat piss. We're done. Meanwhile, we're filling up our coffers faster than we can empty them. We're drinking day and night and still haven't gone through half the gold from that Morrowind job for the corpse fondlers. With Argonian patrols up and down the border, we can charge an arm, leg, and a tail for every crate that comes in. And as for the zombie petters, they were pretty pleased the staff wasn't damaged. Creepy looking thing, too. Was glad to be rid of it. It's a shame we couldn't hold out a couple more days, though. This morning, another buyer came by the camp. An orc with a face so lumpy, he must have jumped head first off the top of Dragon's Reach. Turns out he was looking for the same staff, offering to pay double. I told him we could have something better for him on the next boat from Solstheim, but he was pretty clear there was only one staff he wanted to buy. Makes sense. The only thing uglier than this orc was that staff. Maybe he wants to hold it up when he shaves so he doesn't feel so bad for being born. Anyways, I sold him the information on the buyers and sent him on his way. Couldn't get him to trade any of the valuables on his carriage, but it's alright. It's more than one way to part a fool in his things. I told the boys to cut him off on the road west of Whiterun at the burnt down house between the Watchtower and Fort Greymoor. Given how obsessed he was about the staff, it'll be easy to catch him off guard. Alright. So, typical bandits doing typical bandit things. What a surprise. And if you open that, it causes some enemies to spawn. And we can sell the skooma, I guess. Take that. Doesn't look like there's much here altogether, really. Oop, that's alchemy ingredients. I want that. Whoops. And there's some more sacks back there. And there's nothing. Where's that chest? Here we go. Oh, come on. I hate it when it does that. I think that causes, yep. I guess we can just go start this quest. See what happens. I didn't intend on doing that this episode, but sometimes the best things are the ones you don't expect. So let's go do this quest and see what happens. Some sort of rare staff, it sounds like. Probably sell it for a lot of money. Some elk. Uh, how far are we? Okay, it's right in between. So we might even still be able to do everything that we intended to do. <clears throat> he got quick. 
Oh well, either way. I need to go back down toward Fall Creek to get some more of this for Magicka potions. Oh, that didn't render in so good. And the Western Watchtower is, I guess, not discoverable. Probably has to do with that quest. What have we here? Mammoth bones? Yeah. Because either way, we can check the wreckage and... Oh, dang. Looks like he murked them all. Oh, let me show you guys something. I'm sure everybody that's watching this knows about it, but you can come over here. And I believe it's... Yep, right here. A little chest. Oh, excuse me, Miko. Someone's fighting. You're mine. Whoa. Why are we fighting? Alright, because he killed the bandits. So... And I can take all this and it's not stealing, so... Who did he kill over here? Random farmer? What for? Entirely sure what that was all about, but Smuggler's Ledger. Dozen bottles of skooma. Fifty septums in a favor. Wait, did I bone meal? Brittle Shim Pass. Brittle Shim Pass is where? It's on the other side of this mountain range. Oh no, this is a giant camp. Yeah, we're gonna have issues with that, so let's not try our luck. Especially consider that dude attacked us for really no reason, as far as I can see. Oh well, let's lose stuff. To raise the living. Alright. Void salts are pretty hard to find. Black soul gem and a death bell. I did not mean to do that. Oh well. Oh, they killed his horse too. I mean, we could run over to Brittleshin Pass and give it a try, but I don't think I'd have great luck against the, uh, the giants there. Well, let's see what happens when we clear this little area out here. Fort Greymoor discovered. Looks like a dead bandit. Oh yeah, there's bandits here. Oh, that's not good. One down. Two down. Miko's fighting the third one. He's done. Oh shit, Miko, you good? Okay. Got an arrow sticking out of your head. 
more dead bandits. That's the prison. I hear someone over here. Oh, well, howdy, partner. Nice knowing you. And lock pick. Yeah, I know, right, Miko? He didn't even have to die, but he wanted to, so he did. Ooh, 50 gold. Some salt. Doesn't look like those I can pick up. Probably could if I turned on the reticle, but not a fan of that, so. Alright, now we can go down and loot the rest of these losers. See what they've got laying around the fort. Doesn't look like they have a smelter, so can't smelt any of my extra ore. He had some gold. Let's see, where were the rest of them? Oh, hey. Some more gold. Could have swore I got a few more of them, but... Maybe over here? Oh, yeah. Nothing. That's worth a look. Alright, let's clear out... Pretty sure I got all the stuff from over here, but it doesn't hurt to double check a little bit. Yeah, this was the chest and the stuff. Okay. Fort Greymore. Let's go to the prison first. See if there's anyone in here I can maybe get out of captivity. gone and that leads up to Skyrim that's where I came in at excuse me Miko wait okay so this is a back way into the actual fort go ahead and open this up Well, it looks like they got him good. Get you out of the way. Alright, let's see what's around here. something. What was that? Whoops. They managed to kill a troll? Alright. Good job, bandits. That guy actually did a fair number on me. Let's see if there's anything in here. There is not. And no key. Alright, looks like a dead Nord woman in here. Oh, hi, Elf. Nothing in here. Well... That looks like the prison. Not much down here. Now, 
let's go see what's in Fort Graymore proper. This might lead to a different section of the fort. I'm not sure. We'll find out. Is someone, someone there? there? Alright, Miko's got him. Alright, so... You what, you running, right? Oh, that's not good. Alright. Room absolutely chocked full of enemies. And that's the way up. Alright. Bandit thug almost, uh... Did a fair number on me. Almost. And yeah, we'll take the food. Actually eat some of it. And I'll take that potion. So that kills all of them. You picked a bad time to get lost. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Good job, Miko. Fast. I got your back, buddy. I just cook and clean and do whatever it is they ask of me. I always forget she's here and then I'm like, why is this I random know. lady here? I can't even keep track of all the people who have been in and out of this fort. They come and they go. I barely notice. Well, good on you, Agnes. A lot of these are actually pretty good quality potions. Alright. Let's see what's over here. A couple of dead dudes. Looks like they had a bad day. Take all that. Wow. It was a weak lockpick. Here we go. Much better. Iron mace and some gold. Imperial helm. Alright, yeah, I know I've got a level up available. I just can't do anything with it right this moment. Alright, so we came in from right here. Let's see what's up here. I think this is where the bandit thug came from. Ah, uh, yes, Rizla of the Righteous. Dang, that's actually a really good helmet. Shame I can't do anything with it. And you are? Oof. Pretty good large bandolier all right well either way I could use the carry weight so I use that instead <coughs> excuse me I know, Miko. Don't worry, buddy. We're working on it. And that's the top of the tower, which we can just go ahead and go out. Yeah, this is where that guy was that I took care of. Yeah, right there. Alright, so let's go back down. Is 
So we cleared the top out. And here's their little kitchen. Cleared this out, I believe, as well. Yep. Go down. Ah, the mead cellar. Excellent. So this is where the party's at. Uh, nothing really good there. Look at all this. Uh, just a couple of buckets. I was hoping to find an enchanted item that I could use, but it doesn't seem like that's on the cards for me today. Get out of the way. That hurt. Okay, so that's just a little full circle. All right, and that's Fort Graymore. What have we here? Another bucket. I think we're gonna travel back to Whiterun, make some more gold rings, sell everything that I can, and then I think that'll be it for today. A little bit of a short episode, I know, but pretty concise. Uh, I want to go over to Brittle Shin Pass at some point, but I need to do level ups and sort through the rest of my garbage because I want to head up to High Hrothgar probably around level 15 because that'll start us a series of quests that'll basically take us all the way all up. Alright, hand over your valuables or I will gut you like a fish. Nice try, but you do not scare me. I am not going to ask again. Don't you walk away from me. Yeah, I don't have time for you, buddy. Um, I'm gonna fry you. Alright. Now before I was so rudely interrupted by a thief on the road. We're going to head back to Whiterun. Sell a bunch of stuff, make some rings, because now I finally have gotten rid of all of my assorted goodies. By assorted goodies, I mean 900 iron ores. And I think that that really should call it. I don't know of any other, like, general vendors, unless we get lucky and Resod is outside, because I could really use, sell some garnet and some other stuff. Because Bellathor's inventory will not have reset by now. I haven't been gone that long, so we'll have to kind of, I guess, deal with that as the time permits. Hopefully Resod's camp is out here. It doesn't look like it. Um... We'll just do some general housekeeping before. Yeah, Resod's not here. That's okay. We'll just do some general housekeeping before I log off for the day. I can probably shortcut through there next time. The Plains of White Run. Hello, fellas. See if I can sell anything to the various vendors. I don't claim to be the... Take a look. Let's see what you got. You got a thousand gold. But I can't sell you anything, so... Actually, I'll sell you these pelts.
Yeah. Don't forget. Have you met my father? Hmm. Blades, Actually, I helmets, need to go ahead and sell. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. One gold ore. I'll take my leave then. And now I can make these three. And turn those into rings. Reduce I my carry my weight a bit. More ways than people do Oops, wrong one. You think all the counsel my father provides the Yarl is his alone? Let's just say I advise. Uh Hello. Come to Olava for a reading. Don't worry, Olava, I didn't come to you for a reading. I'm just here to sell some stuff and be on my way. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. You look rather... take a look? Uh, yeah, her inventory still hasn't reset, so... Um... There you Come go. Back anytime if you need a remedy. I'm keeping their vendors nice and stocked with items and not coin. Is there anywhere else I can get a cooking spit around here? I don't think so, so I'll just have to go into the inn to do the rest of my housekeeping come on in we got warm food warm drinks and warm beds if it's work you're looking for Hulda's the one to talk to oh I've got plenty of salt pile now I'll just go ahead and make a bunch of food and keep the rest of the salt pile. Hey, buddy. If you need more food or drink, if it's work you need, it. how are you joking? You just rented a room from me. Oh, okay. I'll take it. Good for a level up, at least. And we're gonna go with Magicka. Here we go. Doesn't look like I can get an upgrade for that. Just because I want to get access to that. And I have another perk point. Ooh, steel or bone mold. Bone mold looks cool, but I'm not going to be in third person that much. And I still haven't decided what I'm going to do with my one-handed yet, so I think I'll just save this other perk point. Alright, folks. Well, let's see what I've got in my inventory. Yeah, I've still got a bunch of stuff I need to get rid of. Oh, um, did you need else? something? Just let me know. But I think that that's going to kind of sum it up for this episode. Whoops. Sorry, Miko. There's not much else that I can do, so until next time, folks, thanks for stopping by, and, well, I'll see you next time. Sayonara.